Soy Danny. Howdy friends and happy PJ Saturday. I hope you are having a great morning. I'm having a great morning. Nim is not having a great morning because Nim got a bath today. Yes, she did. But she's having a great morning because she's excited to help me talk to you about what we're going to talk about for PJ Saturday today and that's planning for tech. So let's begin by lighting our chalice. Play is time spent without purpose. So today we light our chalice in honor of the not wasted minutes doing nothing. There we go. So this week on your survive, grow, connect challenge, you were given the challenges of playing pretend and uh, pretending to either be a vet or to talk on the phone with somebody or to step outside your imagination. You were invited to connect with people over Zoom and you were invited to reflect with your family at the dinner table or in your family RE journal to talk about what makes you unwind and feel renewed. But what I wanted to focus on was the survive challenge and that's that playing pretend. And I have some friends here to help me play pretend with me. So I have my friend BB-8 and sometimes BB-8 and I, when BB-8 wants to make his noise, are you gonna make your noise for me today, BB-8? Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, sure, he made noises, right? Um, so BB-8 BB and I like to pretend that we're in the back of an X-wing and BB-8 gets to be my wingman and we go flying and we imagine what it's like to look at the stars and explore and resist the evil empire. Sometimes Nim and I play a game, don't we Nim? And Nim is the beautiful princess and I am the mean dragon and we have the castle and we have all the dragons who come and they attack. But Nim, not being a helpless princess at all, then attacks my baby dragons and runs away with them and defeats them. Sometimes we like to pretend to play that way because we like to pretend that we're strong and powerful because we are strong and powerful. Now you're gonna have to listen to Nim squeak the dragons for the rest of the time as she slays the dragon. <laughs> Princess Nim does that very well. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm friends with Madeline and I like to read my book, Nim This One's Mine. And I pretend that I'm in an old house in Paris all covered in vines and I like to live with 12 little girls who walk in two straight lines the youngest one of which was Madeline of course and Madeline and I think about what it's like to live in a different country and what it must be like to live in a boarding school what it must be like to have a friend who's a prince Madeline and I have all sorts of different imagination conversations when we play and we like to do it when we read our books isn't that right Madeline She's a little bit of a head rocker. Draco, you cannot have Madeline. Draco likes to pretend that he's in the hundred acre wood. Don't you, buddy? Come here. And when Draco pretends that he's in the hundred acre wood, he snuggles and he's with Pooh Bear and we just relax. We relax and we have some coffee, don't we? Because that's what we do in Pooh's co Pooh <laughs> and Pooh Bear's ho hobble in the hundred acre wood. wood. Sometimes he gets bored and he goes and he plays because he's a little bit more like Tigger than Pooh Bear. He doesn't make a very good piglet friend either. Huh? He bounces. And he bounces. He bounces a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so these are all the different ways that we can play pretend with our friends. But you know what? There are other ways to play pretend that don't involve toys at all. Sometimes I like to close my eyes, especially when I can't sleep. And I like to imagine that I'm walking in the woods. Maybe it's the hundred acre wood and I'm seeing my friends and I'm waving to Eeyore who might be hanging out by the lake or I like to pretend that I'm talking to a friend who's not with me anymore and sometimes, sometimes I have a time when I get to go on a swing and I pretend like I'm flying because I'm swinging. There's so many different ways that we can play pretend. And what's wonderful about playing pretend is it's not actually time spent without purpose when we play. It's an exercise in our imagination that makes our heart feel good. And anytime we can do something that makes our heart feel good and we can make ourselves good at thinking and practicing, imagining, 
that's time spent in critical thinking and that's a good thing to do. So I hope you have fun playing pretend this week. I hope you will tell me about the different ways that you play pretend. Maybe you are also a princess who steals the dragons and then squeaks them for the entire DJ Saturday. I don't know. But I look forward to hearing about them. Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, remember, you are loved, you are cherished, and you are not alone. Bye, everybody.